All right. Thank you very much for coming through. Thank you. Today, we want to float around reality. So we want to talk about loyalty in all and question of life. And yeah, what they call in religion, in politics, and whatever you can think of. Your family too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So as an ex governor on the youth development, am I, am I correct? Sure. What do you think loyalty is all about? Okay. Uh, what we we'll talk about loyalty? We we'll talk about uh, faithfulness. Talk about steadfastness in the eyes of uh, challenges. In any organization, in any body you find yourself, for you to withstand and avoid betrayal in that platform that you are from. Okay. So your steadfastness and your faithfulness to whatever you believe in. So no matter the forces that come to pull you out, you still stand your ground. Even though it's right or wrong. The fact is, steadfastness, being loyal doesn't make you a fool. Being loyal gives you more power, gives you more friendship, more mutuality to actually speak when it is against your belief or is against the enacted belief of the platform you are actually in. That is loyalty. Loyalty empowers you more than you think. Oh. It gives you more strength. It gives you more closeness to whatever it is. If I'm loyal to you as a friend, it gives me more closeness to you because we both works on a trust level. Okay. Because you believe that well, no matter what, you can actually relate issues to me confidentially. Yeah, there will without be trust. Fears. There will be trust, yeah, there, will be trust now, there. Is it possible to be loyal to a bad person? Uh, loyalty. Are, are there no courtes that are loyal to their groups? Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, now, uh, yeah. Let's start from a political... Okay, let's go to religion. Let's about loyalty in church as a pastor. Okay. So I know you are, you are in a good church. Yeah, right I'm a political... So, your the... observation... What do you have to say about that in church? Thirty thought today, nowadays. The fact stands by you being loyal to God. Okay, not to your pastor. Wait, <laughs> you be loyal to God. Because whatever you do in church is by the utterance, by the leading force from the divine being. The reason why you are loyal to your pastor is because you believed that his calling came from God. So because it's true man, God is ministering to us. That's why you have belief in the man, to him. So if you go in the church and the church has their modus operandi on doing things, yeah. maybe it's a church that sees vision. You believe in vision church. Are people not um, doing, uh, what's it called, um, Jehovah's Witness? They are not seeing vision in the churches, but they believe in their doctrines. Okay. That's their own part of loyalty. I love that. So now let's go digress a bit to politics, politics, because I know you're not a politician. So now let's talk about party Loyalty. Okay. Being loyal to the party. It is something I observe that in politics, uh, there are people that are very loyal, but at the end, they don't, they don't get good results. Then the fact that they are too loyal and humble, at the end, they will be frustrated. But there are people that they are loyal. They don't know what they are doing, but one time they will just do one small gra gra. They will give them appointments. So, what do you have to say about party loyalty? Uh, party. Because they say party is supreme. I don't understand. Yes, yes. Party is supreme. Because in Nigeria, we play a party politics. That's what we play in Nigeria. That's why you see parties register in INEC, not individuals register in INEC. Okay. In that essence, parties have their modus operandi of operations. They have how they select their aspirants and how they select candidates to present so that they win their election because the party is going to the pool to win okay. election. Okay. So they must take something so, that favors them. So no longer individual. Individuals are given opportunity at the party level to show interest. So they are screened by a constituted committee to look into their interest. And know if we take this person to the pool, will it favor us? Because when you play politics, you also look at popularity. Okay. Apart from individual recognition, uh, uh, fame, you also you have to look at your self-popularity because politics is a game of popularity. The much you win, the much you are, the much you win. That is politics. Then it is not definitely characterized by initial gragra or gragra to get an appointment. I would likely tell you that you might not have known a deal an individual might have and the role an individual might have played in a political system. 
you might not have known. Okay. That makes the person go to a stage and start having an aggressive attitude towards after anybody. After 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 a lot of promises have been lot, made. Yes, a lot of commitments he might have played along the line, you know, that has made him get to a stage and has to agitate. Okay, what uh, if somebody is loyal to a party? What and what is the criteria of this loyalty in a party? Loyalty is not a criteria. Let okay, me just tell you something. Uh, loyalty is a personal choice. It's a personal choice. It's not forced on. Okay. Loyalty is not forced on. In fact, Spending money uh, to your... Uh, how would I put it now? I'm rich, you are rich. Mm. Spending my money to promote the party. Is that one loyalty? Uh, it's part of... We call that one. It's part of loyalty. It's part of loyalty. Yes. Okay. So, look at... Let me so, just, what and what makes you loyal as a politician? <laughs> let me explain your party. something. Let me explain something. First of all... You have loyal to party, loyal to individual, loyal to anything has to do with you. have to respect the rules that make this body a body. That is the first loyalty. Loyalty to your, loyalty to your parents is you respecting, oh boy, don't go outside. Oh boy, come inside by this time. Okay. Imagine me where I live now. I'm loyal to the uh, landlord. Why am I loyal to the landlord? He said, don't do this, don't do that. And I keep to the rules. All right. So, automatically, I'm loyal to the rules that constitute the house for the security of the house and for the betterment and the safety of any individual living in the house that I'm living. Yeah. So, that has loyalty. Now, when you spend your finance, like, poly, you can come into politics in different ways. Politics harbors, harbors different characters, different initiative, different ideas. You see people coming into politics as a way of trying to chair. You see people coming into policies as a way of trying to support. Yeah. You get the idea. And let me tell you, every organization needs finance to strive. Okay, sorry. Because of time. Okay. What are the rules? How would I put it now? Rules and regulation of this, your own party. Because I know you're a PGP, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, to be able to be loyal to this uh, party, what are the rules and regulations? What they will say, this guy is loyal. What and what do I need to do? Or, no, do they need to do? Because I'm not a politician. I know they need you. I know they need party. So, talk to Ross. Being, a, being politics, when we talk of politics at the time, it's just like we're trying to capitalize on just uh, voting and the uh, political race. We are talking about leadership. Okay. We should look at it in an aspect of people trying to grow in, an, in a leadership aspect. All right. Politics is more like a platform to make you to lead. All right. That's it. Okay. No, now, in PDP, yeah. you don't need to do much. You just need to be one active in the political system. In every world, they have world executives and world schools. They have world leaders. They used to call world meetings. They used to call for world rallies. Okay. You have to be present. You have to be committed. They have women, women leaders and women group in the, in the party. They have youth, youth leaders and youth group in the party. You have to associate. It's like you going to a church. You being part of the usher, you being part of the choir member, you, yep. it's just the same church activity. Okay, it's okay. Just, sure. It's just the same organization. So Maybe you that. being present, you pe people is the one going to say that you are loyal to the party. You are not even the one that is going to say, I am loyal. Oh, the yeah, way yeah, you, yeah. the activities you do, you get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Loyalty is end. Loyalty is end. You don't just come and because you join politics today, you think you are loyal. Mm. Loyalty, you end it. People have to see it consistently. You see people work for the party for a very long time, and suddenly you see the party rewarding the person maximally. So that means the, the observed generality and the eye service too. Thank you. So who and who enacts this law for your politics, for your party? Because I want to understand something. Which people, they decide with that person they lawyer, apart from those people, which people, they talk about the rules and regulations? Loyalty is not a law or a rule. Or rather, who, who is the party? Yeah, let's get to first. Loyalty, as a team we are talking about, is not a law. In fact, loyalty has nothing to do with political party. Uh -huh, okay. So, loyalty is something you yourself as a person believe to do. You believe to believe in somebody in a political system. Okay. Like me, I have believed in Honorable Tony Lukukure. Okay. It's someone I believe in. It's someone's direction that I believe that whenever this guy moves, I pull. Okay, whether he's wrong or right, you pull. Not wrong or right. I read, we've spoken earlier here. Now. <laughs> we've spoken earlier here that, that loyalty empowers you to speak against anything that is wrong. 
Okay. I'm sorry, and let me ask you for whoever, whoever, whoever you believe in, eh? when it, it goes to po um, political level, I don't think the person playing the political game will play a game of wrongness. I'm um, sorry, you know, they want to talk, they bring that talk. Now you believe so much in the... Congratulations to him first. Yes. Thank you, my my Deviate in what them is what I don't understand. Deviate from his own loyalty to the party. He can't deviate from his loyalty to the party. Olayolu Kokre has proven a steady, a steadfastness, a persevered attitude and a strong party man. Yes, yes. 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 Things that have played out recently, his patience and his loyalty towards the party is on. Un, 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 uncomprehendable. Hey, you want to get we're not, we're not, I know you're a politician. We just talk about uh, this and we can't talk about it once more. Now, to round up everything, what advice do you have for people watching this video? Uh, when it comes to reality. The truth Especially of, young guys like us. The truth of it is that uh, um, before a man believes, becomes loyal to a thing, a god, a person, or a group, he or she might have taken a personal decision to be loyal to that person. Okay. Now, loyalty pays. Loyalty is end. You work with someone, you have to work with someone for a very, for a, 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 a period of time so that the person can know you better, can call you a friend. You can also know whatever you are into better and call this thing, you trust the thing. That is loyalty for you. Oh. When you've known someone, something too well, and you are ready to even die for the stuff. You are ready to whatever sacrifice whatever for the stuff. That is loyalty of it. Okay. But it still comes with a step, I said earlier. It has to come with a step of you deciding to be loyal. Nobody is coming to your house to say, come and be loyal to this party. Come and be loyal to this. It's, politics, they say, is a game of interest. If you have interest in something, you play loyalty to the stuff and belong to it. So what I'm trying to tell our youth is that loyalty pays. And it comes with a gradual process. You have to be persevere. Yeah, you have yeah, to be yeah, patient. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loyalty pays a lot. And anybody being loyal... Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Man, I, I enjoy this guy. Now, man, you, that's the essay to the governor on the uh, youth development, Mr. Daniel Akizi. Thank you for coming through. Thank you, sir. God bless you, bro. Thank you, sir. All right. Move.